Hey, so today we're going to be building or starting to build a sleeper system deck over this covered entry. There's a covered entry here and it's got a, a slab out front with a with a good slope on it. There's a slab and a sidewalk. And I am going to be building a deck on top of this slab. Um, so obviously my deck needs to be level, but I've got a slope here. So we're going to build a sleeper system. A sleeper system is a, uh, anytime you have deck joists that are, um, on top of a surface, um, sometimes it's a, a waterproof membrane, um, over a living space or something like that. It's basically, you're building a level deck on top of an out of level surface so i'm going to be having to you know obviously the the joists are going to get you know smaller and then bigger 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 as this slab goes down and uh it's gonna be kind of interesting we've got to have a floating beam back here this is kind of someone else already kind of started to prepare it but i'm gonna be putting these pyramid blocks with adjustable post bases along this wall i'm gonna put three of them and i'm gonna run a, a beam across them and I'm gonna level them up. We're, we're not gonna attach the deck to the wall because this is a two by four wall and there's plumbing and there's wires and stuff and there's vents here. So <clears throat> to get this deck at the height we want it to be at, we're just gonna let it kind of be a free floating system here. Um, so I'm gonna be digging this out, setting, setting some pyramid blocks, setting a beam, and then we're gonna run the joist perpendicularly off the wall this way and then we're gonna run the decking this way. So. It's gonna be slow going because of this kind of small gravel it's hard to dig this stuff. It always wants to fall back in. So I've got to take, basically take it all out, set the blocks and then put them in there. I'm, you know, I may have to dig. looks like this is all ready to dirt here. So I'm probably have to dig down to the dirt here <coughs> to set those blocks down a little deeper. And that one I might actually have to bring up, but I do, like I said, have the adjustable post brackets, which are pretty cool because you can um, raise them and lower them, you know, five or six inches, even if you have to. So that's pretty neat. Oh, I'm quite a bit higher. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> it's, it's almost perfect. Wowee. That's pretty, pretty shocking. Um, look at that. So I'm within definitely what I can adjust on my brackets here. Holy moly, guacamole. Five and a half. 
Well, it's from the bracket to the top of my level. How about that? So that's convenient. Now I know that when I set this that beam and little tiny beam in here, my joists are gonna sit right there. My joists are gonna route this way. So that's really helpful. I need to get another level and just set it up there so that I can just you know, just working backwards. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna determine. I'm gonna kind of see what I want. I need to consult with the client too to see what he kind of wants and expects because we've talked about this a bunch of different ways. It's difficult to build a, it's difficult to do this. It's sloping not just one way, but it's sloping the other way. <clears throat> so it's gonna be kind of a compound rip cut thing. You know, we're gonna have to set up string lines and or lasers or something. I haven't figured that out yet. And then I think that they were expecting there to be a one step up over there by kind of where the door is. But my idea was to have the, have it be as flush as possible so that the, the sidewalk just continues if if possible. Um, so I'm just gonna go continue at that route, but you know, in that case, this may have to go way down. So if it's, if it's needs to be, there can be a step, you know, a step up and then go just because it's hard to do. We need to, we need to at least clear this you know, from the top of the beam has to at least, you know, be right here, which is about what we're at, you know, so it's actually, it's gotta come up a little bit. It's, it's right at it or it's gotta come up a little bit. So all this rock, this gravel is functional. There's a drainage system under here because there's a lot of water coming from a, a hill up above and the, the client has, um, install a lot of rock and drainage and there there are pipes and there's perforated pipes and all kinds of stuff so i can't he's requested that i not cut here because we don't want our sawdust together and clog it up so i want to take it over there and cut it concrete and the beam intersect at level is, I'm just going to mark this point, it's all kind of arbitrary right now, I'm going off of kind of just where I set this beam, and I just arbitrarily set this beam kind of what I thought it should be at, it's a little bit of trial and error here, I'm going to mark this, this one over here, and here, that pencil line and that pencil line are perfectly level and they're just touching each other. I could probably start with a joist here because this joist will sit right on the beam and that's my main goal and it'll sit here. Of course this drops down um, which is fine because I'm going to have to rip this whole thing down anyway. Remember these joists are sitting on concrete so they don't have to be more than you know they could be an inch as long as I can attach uh, decking to it. If I have a hidden fastener clip or something what I, um, which I do have I've got all kinds of options. It doesn't matter, it's, it's, it's buried right on here. The whole point is just to hold it up a little so the water can come through and drain away. That's the sleeper system. So I've got <laughs> a whole five inches. So if I started it a full piece and I scribe this up, that it'll be half an inch left here, which makes me want to go down more. I want there to be like four inches here so I can, you know, so I can start, this is five and a half, so I can start and at a full piece or start at, start at five and a half. I, mean, I want this drop to be four inches, so I can start at five and a half and end up at you know one and a half. I need to have some meat left at the end.
try this side. Since I've got such an extreme slope on this, you can tell I'm going from nothing to about 11 inches here in, oh, I don't know, um, about 10 feet, 11 feet. Um, what I'd like to do is drop the beam further down so that I can try to reduce this, this drop and I don't have to cut in a big bunch of steps and stuff. I, I'd like it to just, I'd like to get that top down to within you know, three to four inches of that little secondary. This is about a three inch drop here. And then when I added the decking to it, it would just be a regular normal step. But to do that, I'd have to drop it. Um, let's see how much I'd have to drop it. So I'm at about six, I'm gonna call it 16 right now or so. So to be within I know this is three, right? That's about three. Ideally, I'd look for a seven inch after decking. So I wanna be at six inches. So I wanna be within three inches of this. That'll be six inches plus the one inch decking. Ideally, I wanna be three inches above this. So I wanna drop this down 13 inches, I'd say. Whoop, 13, 13 and a half maybe. I'm cheating a little bit. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be that far. So I gotta drop 13 inches, which means I'd have to drop this deck or this uh, beam 13 inches. And if I drop 13 inches, well that's double the width of this two by six plus plus a couple inches. Um so I would have to get like a two by twelve. I can't just run two by sixes here and have that all work out that way. I could get a couple of two by, well, I'd be over here, I guess. Well, let me think. <laughs> could get some two by 12 so that I have more to take off. So the goal, whole goal here in my mind is to have this decking maybe, maybe one inch off of that transition there, or as, you know, an inch and a half, as much as possible. I mean, it could be a little step up. I'm trying to keep it, keep it down. Um, so we're gonna have to find a, a, a happy medium here to where, you know, you step up, you step up a little bit there, and yet you're not dropping 16 inches over there. Um, and worst case scenario, I just have to come in here. Basically what you do is you take the width of that sidewalk and you cut the deck in. So you would step up, you know, twice, boom, boom. Actually it'd be three steps because it's over, it's already over, over, uh, 16, 17, 19 inches. So it'd be it'd be three steps, unfortunately, which would cut into here. But it's, it's not a, a big deal. I'm just trying to avoid it. I'm having trouble sorting this out with these little um, these little levels. So it's laser time. Well, shucks. So upon further reflection, um, I've realized that, because I'm sort of um, not in charge of what the design here is, and I was kind of filled in briefly, and I thought, okay, I'll just come figure it out. 
I have deduced that the plan here was to put a beam here and out front here because I have two beams and to have the whole thing be way up high. My thought would be to, to have it down as far as we can. So I'm gonna have to consult with the boss and the client before it continues so that I know what they're expecting. I think they're expecting it to be way up. Um, if I had my way, I'd probably just run some two by 12s the long way. I'd run some two by 12s this way and had, and bring it down as low as I could and just delete these beams because we can just set the whole thing on the slab. Uh, that'd be my, that'd be my idea. I'll run it past them and see what they think.